Hey guys, today I'm going to be discussing Pac-Man. Pac-Man is the package manager in Arch Linux. It is also the package manager in most Arch Linux based distributions. Pac-Man allows you to install and remove programs. It allows you to sync your local machine with the remote repositories. It allows you to query available packages for install. Uh, Pac-Man has a ton of functionality to it. Today I'm just going to give a brief overview of some of the basic commands you will need in Pac-Man for those of you that are uh, new to Arch Linux and Arch Linux based distributions. So let's get started. The probably most important command you will need to know as far as Pac-Man is concerned is how to upgrade your system's packages. Uh, how you do this for most Arch machines is you can either log in as super user with SU and then give your root password. And now you're the super user and you can do pacman dash capital S lowercase y lowercase u. That works. Uh, for those of you that don't like to log in as SU, let me exit out of this. You can sudo pacman dash capital S Y U pseudo Pac-Man dash capital S lowercase Y lowercase U give your root password and my system's up to date there's nothing to do here uh, what this command did the pseudo Pac-Man dash capital S Y U the dash capital S and the lowercase Y together basically it synchronizes the uh, the repos and then the U stands for upgrade upgrade all the packages on the system I've already upgraded this machine, so uh, there, there was nothing to do for me. But that is how you would go ahead and update all of your system's packages. It's very similar for those of you familiar with Debian and Ubuntu-based distributions. You know, sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade. Basically, the sudo pacman dash capital S lowercase y lowercase u is the same thing as doing a sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade. Now for installing and removing software, let's start with installing software. So today I'm running Manjaro here. And what I'm going to do is sudo pacman. Again, you have to be super user. You have to be the root user to install or remove software to upgrade your system to do any kind of system changes. So sudo pacman dash capital S again, S for sync to the repos. Uh, and then the name of the package you want to install. I know on this particular VM I'm running, I don't have GUVC view installed. So GUVC view, which is a webcam app. sudo pacman dash capital S, name of the program. Hit enter, and it tells me uh, the installation size, yes or no. Do I want to proceed with the installation? Yes. And there we go. We just installed GUVC view. Now to remove a package. To remove a package, you would sudo pacman dash capital R for remove GUVC view in this case but the name of the package you wish to remove now this will remove GUVC view but it will only remove GUVC view when I install GUVC view you remember it installed actually two programs and installed GUVC view but it's also installed port audio which is a dependency of GUVC view I want to remove GUVC view. I also want to remove port audio, that dependency, because I don't need it if I'm not going to use GUVC view anymore. So sudo pacman dash capital R lowercase s GUVC view. Hit enter and it will remove GUVC view and the dependencies for GUVC view that are no longer needed. There we go. And one note on the uh, sudo pacman dash capital R lowercase s or remove with dependencies. It will only remove dependencies for the program as long as they're not required by any other program on your system. So it is a pretty safe command to run. There are ways to uh, force Pac-Man to remove a uh, program plus all its dependencies whether 
those dependencies are required by other programs. I'm not going to show that because that's kind of dangerous and that's kind of advanced stuff. You guys that need to do something like that, I'm going to let you find that on your own today. I'm going to stick with mostly safe stuff, stuff that's uh, not likely to break anything. All right, say you need to query uh, a package for install. So sudo, well, let me get back into the terminal here, sudo pacman dash capital S, lowercase s, and then the package you wish, you wish to search for in the remote repository. So I know I don't have guvcview installed on this machine because I just removed it. So guvcview. And this will search the repositories, the remote repositories for this package. And there it returned uh, community slash guvcview. It gives me the uh, the description of that particular program, a simple GTK interface for capturing and viewing video from, yeah, 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 whatever. All right, so that is how you query the remote repositories. What about querying packages already installed on your local system? sudo pacman dash um, qs, and then I know I have Firefox installed on this machine, so I'll query Firefox, and there you go local slash Firefox 59.0.1 and then a description of the program standalone web browser from Mozilla. For some uh, system maintenance stuff, some system cleaning, uh, sometimes you want to figure out what packages are installed on your system that are no longer required. Uh, they're no longer required as dependencies of other programs. They're what we call orphan packages. So sudo pacman Actually, I don't even think I need sudo for this because I'm not installing anything. I'm just doing a search. So pacman dash q, capital Q, lowercase d, lowercase t. Run that command. And I have, I don't know, about 10 or 12 programs, packages that are no longer needed. So I can just go ahead and remove these packages if I wish because they're not required on the system anymore. They're not a dependency for anything else. So how do you remove those dependencies, those are, or excuse me, those unneeded dependencies now, those orphan packages. How do you remove those? Well, you can actually do that with one command. Um, this is kind of a complicated command. You don't have to run this command very often to get rid of these orphan packages. I always have to look it up because I, I don't remember this just off the top of my head, but it's sudo pacman dash capital R lowercase n lowercase a, s in space, the dollar symbol, then in parentheses, pacman, space, dash, capital Q, lowercase t, lowercase d, lowercase q. Again, it's kind of a convoluted kind of command, but you run that, and it tells me 26 packages that are no longer needed, these orphaned packages that are going to be removed. And just like that, I cleared all these unneeded packages off my system. So just a quick recap, uh, some of the commands you will constantly use, again, to update your machine is probably the most uh, important one is the one you will use the most. sudo pacman dash capital S lowercase y lowercase u upgrades all your system's packages. This is how you update your machine. Uh, sudo pacman dash capital S package name is how you install a program. sudo pacman dash capital R package is how you remove a program. And dash R lowercase s removes the package and all unneeded dependencies for that package. All right, sudo pacman dash capital S lowercase s package name queries the remote repositories for that package. So it's searching for packages in the remote repositories. Uh, dash capital QS queries a package that is installed locally on your machine. Pacman dash capital Q D T uh, gives you all the orphaned packages on your machine. You don't need sudo privileges to run that query. And then to remove all those orphaned packages, you would need to run this particular command here. Just Google it when you need to run it. Uh, if you search for arch pacman remove orphans, you'll find this. It's actually in the Arch Linux uh, wiki pages for Pacman. Of course, the best place 
to get information on Pac-Man and its usage and its various flags and all of its functionality. It has, it has a lot more functionality than what I've discussed here. It's got some pretty advanced features to it. One, go to the Arch Linux wiki page for Pac-Man. I'll link it in the description. Two, just read the man page. So man, name of the program, in this case Pac-Man, gives us the manual page for Pac-Man. Pac-Man, it's a package manager utility. And I'm just going to scroll through here so you can see that Pac-Man has a ton of flags, various use flags. And uh, I didn't discuss most of these. But if you're wondering what some of those flags in the commands earlier I, I, I shared with you, like we used Y a lot. Y is for refresh. The dash capital S that was in so many commands is uh, for sync, the syncing the repos. U was for upgrade. Uh, Q, capital Q, I think, was for query, and so forth and so on. So, guys, uh, for those of you that are coming to Arch Linux or Arch based distributions anew, and you're wondering about some of the terminal commands for your package manager, of course, these days you can always do GUI package managers uh, in Arch based distros, the ones uh, most people use. There's an Octopi. Uh, system updater tool. There is a PAMAC, which is a GUI package manager for Arch and Arch-based Linux distributions. But once you familiarize yourself with the command line functions for your package managers with Pac-Man, apt, DNF, emerge, whatever, whatever the, the case may be, it's so much easier to install and remove software and to upgrade your system through the terminal once you know a few basic commands. So guys, that is Pac-Man. Peace.